Thank you. And uh, at first, uh, I have to apologize because I don't have so nice numbers as uh, just Becca uh, showed us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, but uh, at first, uh, uh, the title of my presentation was planned uh, that uh, uh, economic uh, impact of Estonia's geoinformation and future plans. Then I said, no, 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 I can't uh, uh, anything uh, say about geoinformation because it's too wide for me. And that's why I asked uh, to change the title, but now I know that um, I see that uh, uh, maybe I can't uh, uh, speak uh, very, very much about uh, economy as well, because uh, compared to Pekka, we don't have such uh, good data and so on, but um, let's go on. I, I will speak about geological information in, in Estonia. Uh, overview of the presentation is um, that uh, at first uh, I will try uh, speak about uh, geological information in general, uh, then uh, uh, show some links with other areas, and uh, uh, then I introduce you with um, uh, geological information in Estonia and its current state, and uh, very shortly about future plans and trends. Uh, actually, my background is that uh, uh, I have worked in geological survey quite a long time, and then I worked in uh, uh, research uh, and innovation system as a coordinator and uh, that's why the um, research part uh, is very important for me and uh, that's why I introduced some uh, uh, special uh, special things uh, about Estonian uh, geological research. Uh, I found in internet very good uh, idea and I liked it so much that I put it uh, to my slide that earth science empowers us to think globally and act locally uh, to make sound decisions about issues important in our lives as individuals and citizens and uh, that's wonderful idea and uh, as right now I'm working in ministry I, I see uh, every day that uh, uh, global thinking is necessary in e each area. Uh, as I know that uh, some of you are not geologists, uh, that's why I just uh, introduced the geological information in general. Uh, geological information uh, consists uh, of different things. At first, of course, uh, office, uh, archives, site uh, descriptions, field observations, uh, and um, uh, of course, geological maps. And uh, the other part is uh, this practical things like uh, uh, drill calls, cutting, samples, etc., etc. And uh, that's why uh, to look them together gives us uh, uh, the whole picture. And uh, geological information is useful in uh, so many areas. Uh, we uh, quite often connect uh, geological information only with uh, mineral resources, but uh, and uh, sometimes uh, in geohazards and earthquakes and so on. But um, I'm myself a quaternary geologist, and I have seen that uh, geological information is the basis to other areas. For example, uh, as I said, I'm a quaternary geologist. Uh, when we studied our sediments and, and uh, quaternary geologists uh, uh, found some ash particles or, or something like this. This uh, gave us the clue that uh, some thousands or some mm, uh, hundreds of years ago was a uh, big fire 
or something like this. And it gives the clue about the uh, human, uh, about uh, people culture and history and everything. And uh, uh, the basis of climate change uh, is uh, full geology because uh, uh, if we look to the full scale, then we see the climate change already in the past and we will uh, predict uh, climate change uh, uh, in the future. That's uh, very normal for us, but it's not normal for people around us who are not geologists. And uh, biology, for example. Uh, I think the, the geolo uh, geology uh, gave us the proof of evolutionary uh, theory that's normal for us uh, to find the fossils and, and so on. And uh, of course, material science, uh, uh, all, all, all the stuff and the physics, chemistry, it's uh, so uh, usual for us. And without geology, uh, we can't uh, plan, uh, do plans in landscape planning or constructions. Uh, it, uh, it's so obvious. And the most important, water, of course. Where to find it? Uh, and then the how to predict some some uh, disasters and so on. Uh, this means that uh, uh, geological information has uh, very, very practical use everywhere. And uh, by the way, this picture is quite new. And it's, I think it's less than one month ago, uh, ago old. And it uh, was shot in um, uh, Pernuma, uh, the, and uh, on this picture we see that uh, geology is important so that, uh, that uh, we have to know everything about the layers and the deposits there just to plan uh, how to construct and what to put there. And uh, this means that uh, uh, beside the exploration of natural resources, we have to plan and predict uh, everything uh, and uh, just to use geological data everywhere. Uh, so, and uh, I have to say that uh, except of oil shale res research and industry, in uh, independent Estonia, uh, I mean uh, the independency from uh, 91 up to uh, 2080, the research and uh, 18, uh, the research and exploration of Estonian mineral resources was carry out, carried out uh, only by private sector, mostly. Uh, without any governmental support. Uh, Estonian private sector, uh, mainly construction sector, has invested into geological research millions of euros. That huge amount of money did not brought uh, direct income to the society and state. This kind of partnership impeded the uh, economic growth somehow, uh, caused distrust uh, in society and hampered uh, the possible valorization of mineral resources. Situation started to change in 2016, 2018. Uh, the main reason was that uh, then in Estonia, we uh, started to think uh, more strategically and uh, uh, already uh, the preparations for Estonian uh, Earth uh, crust strategy uh, was planned. And uh, in research, uh, some programs uh, like Natal uh, Rita and uh, later Resta uh, were launched. Uh, these were uh, research and innovation programs uh, which were financed on uh, uh, Ministry of Education and Research. 
and uh, universities then received significant uh, support from uh, Estonian research agency. Uh, support money uh, was from European structural funds. And uh, this was the first uh, time in uh, Estonian history when uh, quite large amount of money was put into uh, uh, geology as a research. And uh, in 2017, uh, general principles of Earth crust policy uh, were uh, adopted. And uh, in 2018, uh, Geological Survey of Estonia was uh, re-established uh, under Ministry of Economic Affairs and Communication. And uh, if we are talking about Estonia as a whole, what do you think, what is the most important uh, mineral resource uh, for Estonia if we look at history at all? What do you think? No, I mean, oil shale, oil shale. As I said that uh, I have come from research si system, then a uh, very long time, oil shale was the only current content uh, journal where our scientists could, uh, uh, could publish and uh, then we could get uh, uh, very useful points to apply on grants and so on, and it was the only one in Estonia. Otherwise, it was complicated to get uh, somewhere to the list. <laughs> and uh, oil shale is still uh, Estonia's prime mineral resource. And uh, as you all know, most of you are geologists, that oil shale is deposited in a single economic layer uh, with a thickness uh, of uh, 2.5 to 3 meters in depth of uh, seven to 100 meters in area of uh, 2,700 kilometers, square kilometers. Uh, and uh, only one big uh, state-owned company for mining of mineral resources in Estonia, and uh, it is the company who mines oil shale. Uh, mining activity started already very long time ago, uh, in uh, 1916, uh, uh, peaked in uh, uh, 1890, and uh, uh, what's what's the uh, maybe maybe it's quite sad that it's is ending uh, in next 20 years. Uh, the oil shale industry contributes uh, two or uh, five percent of the Estonian GDP and uh, contributes about uh, 300 million euros annually to the state budget. But uh, of course, uh, uh, we have very, very many other minerals which are very important for Estonian economy as well. And here you can say it's very, very common for us but as you see, uh, this is limestone and uh, sand and gravel. Uh, we don't have uh, so many limestone quarries. Uh, uh, it depends on geology, of course. Uh, and uh, uh, in 2022, uh, uh, we have uh, eight I, I think this uh, number is still uh, still correct. <laughs> uh, limestone and dolostone quarries and uh, about 540 sand and gravel uh, quarries. Uh, we can all uh, think that uh, that's, uh, they are very, very small and not important at all, but uh, in all countries uh, the, the construction uh, material is uh, uh, very, very important thing. We can't uh, uh, construct uh, roads, we can't uh, uh, construct uh, to produce some construction materials without them. They are just uh, so common around us, but we need them desperately. 
And uh, geological information in Estonia, uh, as I said already, is uh, right now uh, quite well documented. And uh, uh, sometimes uh, we uh, connect uh, geological information on national level, level uh, geological surveys. And uh, most uh, geological surveys, uh, services were, were founded uh, with the primary objective of collecting information concerning mineral resources and deposits. Uh, however, uh, these uh, objectives are becoming increasingly varied and uh, now address uh, environmental and land use issues. Uh, but um, our geological uh, survey is not so old as your Finnish one. <laughs> and uh, in uh, 1937, the Geological Committee, Committee of uh, Estonia was founded. And after the occupation and incorporation of Estonia, into the Soviet Union, the most prominent uh, geologists and a lot of promising young scientists left homeland and a uh, new generation of uh, geologists uh, was trained and it uh, took uh, a, uh, a little bit of time. And uh, in 1947, the Institute of Geology of the Estonian Academy of Sciences was established. established. And in uh, uh, 1957, the Geological Survey of Estonia was founded. Uh, and uh, as we right now have uh, the year 2022, you, you can calculate that uh, that's a little bit uh, important uh, year for us. Uh, both uh, those uh, institutions developed into important centers mm, to for geological, geophysical, and environmental research in the northwestern portion of the Soviet Union and neighboring countries. From uh, 1991 to 2017, Ge Estonian Geological Survey was reorganized uh, and it was like a state-owned business company. And uh, 2018, Estonian uh, uh, Geological Survey was re-established under Ministry of Economy, Economic Affairs and Communication. And uh, that was the background of our Geological Survey. But uh, now uh, I will introduce you the main collections, geological collection at uh, national, national level, uh, and uh, the first one is called SARV. As I already said, that the uh, uh, Estonian research system got uh, quite uh, good financial support from structural funds. Then uh, the uh, program was called NATARC, and uh, under this program, uh, geological ge collections uh, in universities were, were uh, uh, documented and uh, right now a quite user-friendly system is existing and it's called SARV. Uh, the another one, which is the, it, uh, I think the biggest one, it will be the biggest one, is the archive and the um, geological mapping data uh, in Geological Survey of Estonia, and it's called GIA. -A -A -G -A. And uh, the third one is uh, the database in Estonian land board. And uh, uh, there you can find the geological maps uh, uh, where they are visualized, and uh, the data uh, for public services, uh, for ordinary people who need some uh, common information there. And uh, 
Uh, some data are in Kotkas and Elis. Elis is the database for nature reserves and uh, and uh, environmentally protected areas. And Kotkas is the system where you can find the licenses, mining licenses, and so on. Uh, so as I already said, that uh, SARV is very nice database. And uh, there you can find uh, several collections which are in our universities. And uh, uh, as I said, that uh, is very well, well uh, uh, organized. And uh, uh, the portal is uh, very convenient to use. And uh, I recommend uh, you to check uh, them because uh, it's a really very nice uh, system and uh, you can find old uh, material there and uh, fossils and minerals and, and information about uh, the historical data. And uh, uh, real course uh, uh, in Taltec, which uh, which belong to Tallinn Technical University, are located in uh, Sarkhawa field station. Uh, there are not so many of them, but uh, anyway, they are very well documented and, and um, a very nice base. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the biggest one will be the uh, uh, GAA and Arbavere Research Center. And uh, here you can see some pictures from there. Uh, yesterday we visited the place with our Finnish colleagues there. And uh, it's uh, still, uh, still uh, it's growing and, and uh, we hope that it will be the biggest and uh, the most uh, uh, beautiful research uh, center with the geological information at all. Here you can see the uh, storage, uh, drill core storage there, and uh, the old house, which is not existing anymore there, but uh, there is the only picture of a new house. Right now there is a big hole, uh, because uh, we hope that it will be ready next year. Uh, land board, uh, as I said, is a very good place you can uh, uh, find uh, our geological maps. Uh, that's uh, their main responsibility is to visualize it, uh, the maps, and uh, it's very, very good thing. Uh, and uh, very many people use Landboard database. Future plans, very shortly, because uh, because I think we will have a lot of presentations about future plan plans, and uh, of course, what's important uh, for us. It's uh, to uh, support our geological survey and uh, create links uh, uh, to other systems like SARV, EDLIS, Marta, Tenemistu, and uh, uh, get more detailed data from existing drill calls to uh, get very important equipment to Arbavera field station. And uh, uh, if uh, uh, I to look globally, then I have said that um, say that uh, uh, we are uh, just uh, on our way. Uh, we have to we have made the first step, but we have to move forward uh, and look to the whole value chain. And uh, uh, I hope that uh, using innovative technologies give us uh, the uh, good basis for uh, economical growth. And uh, we have to think uh, whether Estonia has a place in the world's mineral economy. Maybe uh, we should uh, think globally, more globally, and uh, uh, think that the modern society is anyway uh, dependent uh, upon access to raw materials, and maybe we can give us a small part to this. And uh, that's, uh, that's all. That, uh, uh, extraction and valorization of European min met uh, metal and mineral resources are vital to securing uh, access to metals and uh, minerals produced in a sustainable manner. 
and uh, good geological information is preconditioned of all that. And uh, this very nice sentence again that we have to think globally, but act locally. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Anna. Uh, any questions? Yes. Anna, thanks for your talk. Um, I am Alan Bischoff you know, from the Energy and Construction Unit uh, with GTK. Uh, I have been traveling you now in the lately years, uh, many countries, and I have been seeing a kind of a lack of care about the geological data now. It's, uh, drill cores have been dumped you know, in the rubbish, and it's really sad to be seen. Many, many countries, you see that uh, core stores are becoming just you know, a, a, a rubbish pile. And coming here in Estonia, it's really beautiful to see that you guys are building up you know, these facilities for future research. You now, I'm quite uh, emotional about that, you know, just see, seeing so many places the data being just throwing away, and you guys are giving importance for that. But my question is, in the long term, how are you going to protect this investment? You know, what's the long-term plan to keep this running you know, from many years? Mm, that's a good question, because as we are, uh, as I'm working in ministry, uh, ministry is always representing uh, state uh, politics. And then the, uh, we try our best just to, to all the time just to, to talk and talk and talk uh, to get uh, more acceptance uh, to uh, our society and then the people who are just now uh, politicians. Uh, and uh, I think uh, it depends on all of us who have to be very active just uh, to show them that uh, the work what we are doing is very important. And uh, what I uh, personally hope that uh, more geologists uh, have to go to policy making area. That's important. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, any other questions? If not, thank you, Anna. <laughs>